At Home Solutions, we work on complex technical projects for clients around the world. We work in many industries, including construction, adventure recreation, and roadside safety. In these industries, products often have a strict life safety requirement. So we use dynamic testing to prove concepts and refine designs. In the marine industry, snapback events are extremely dangerous. A snapback happens when a mooring line ruptures and the parted line snaps back like a rubber band. These parted lines can reach speeds over 1200 kilometers an hour, breaking the speed of sound. Snapback events often occur near work zones and it's estimated that one in seven events sadly end in fatality. In 2020, we had an event where a ship on berth one uh, moved away from the key line and one of the lines parted and snapped back violently, um, striking a roadway. Um, this highlighted the need for some additional controls on site, uh, particularly the development of a, a snapback barrier to protect people for situations like this. Straight after this event, BHP started working on a solution. They installed a temporary protection fence, but they needed to understand how well it worked. They heard about the work we do at our impact test facility, and they came to us to collaborate on this important project. Our team work closely with the clients during research and development stages. We use real life test data to analyze product behavior and performance so that final designs can be the best that they can be. The testing was the first of its kind in the world, so there was a lot to consider. To get our test set up right, we did a series of full-scale calibration tests to refine our test equipment and data capture. The mooring line is attached between two points, with a 90 degree angle in the middle. One bollard is representative of the bollard found on the wharf at the ship's berth and is used to anchor one end of the line. The other end of the line is connected to a custom guillotine and is mounted on a bogey that moves with the line as it stretches. The point of rupture on the line was at the capstan, located in the middle of the ship. Where the line changes direction is the ship's fair lead, which in our case is the redirection bollard. We install the protection fence in front of the redirection bollard. In this test, we wanted to collect enough data to analyse every aspect of the event, especially the speed and energy of the rope, the path the rope travels, and the effect of the broken rope hitting the protection fence. To collect this data, we use multiple high-speed cameras. We also monitor the event with load cells and strain gauges mounted on the protection fence. We designed the first test to replicate the event that occurred at BHP's Haypoint Terminal. When I first saw that video footage of the line passing through uh, some of our barriers, I was, I was really shocked with the sheer power and speed of the line. Uh, it's not often that you can see something travel over or over the speed of sound, particularly when it's, it's potentially in an area that we work in. So the sheer power and the energy behind a parted ship's line, uh, just to, the way it just tears through the mesh and the scaffold and particularly the, the footage of the mannequin is um, yeah, quite uh, frightening to see that in person. This result really proves how important this work is. There are already some companies doing great work in this space. We combine forces with Wilhelmsman, who have more than 100 years experience in developing mooring solutions. 
We also worked with Geobrug, experts in impact protection fences. We were brought onto this project for our in-depth knowledge and experience in researching and designing protection barriers. BHP wanted to know what types of barriers were already being used in other areas and how they would perform in a snapback event. Hence, to create a baseline, for the first test we provided a standard motorsport debris fence. We were really interested to see how it performed under a snapback impact. We installed Geobug's fence at our impact site and tested it using the same conditions from BHP's snapback event. This fence did perform slightly better than the one first tested, but the parted rope still pierced the mesh and entered the safe zone. The data from the first test gave us great insight into the behaviour of all components during a snapback event. Using this information, we are able to iterate our design and, with the help of homes, build a safer, more effective protection fence. Once Geobrug found a design that they were confident with, we put it through the same full-scale testing. To see the snapback and to understand the snapback and to see the forces, the velocity and the energy that is released during a snapback accident is very, very important. With this knowledge and this data collected, we are able to develop new, safer solutions and we are also able to measure and to see how these existing products can decrease the impact of snapback. Snapback Barrier is one of many controls that we've put in place as part of the ship's line protection project. Uh, we've concentrated on providing our teams with the quick release hook system to allow them to release ships being away from risky zones. Uh, we've installed demarcation on berths to provide people safe access at the rear. Uh, we've installed high tension systems to warn people uh, when conditions become unsafe. Uh, and we've also focused on removing snag and rub points that can cause lines to break. Snapback lines doesn't just end at Hay Point. Uh, it's, a, it's a local, it's a national and it's a global issue. We're hoping that the development of this guard can be used um, at adjacent ports and also other ports around the world to really uh, help improve uh, the safety around ships' lines and you know, reduce the incidence of snapback injuries and fatalities globally. Through full-scale testing, we systematically broke down the behaviour of a snapback event. For us, the knowledge gained throughout this process has been extremely valuable. We now have a deep understanding of snapback events, but we've only just scratched the surface of this type of research.